Pumpkin paper. Uh, <laughs> I brought her in here. She just plops right down. pumpkins work like I think in Hello Kitty and the stars but I don't want to just look like a blob you know like a weird certain and I'm not a pumpkin carver so I want to just look stupid so I think your little stars would be cute and it's after Halloween now so it can't be like a spooky thing Some role playing. I'm so sick of myself. I want to be a character. this on Amazon. Like, yeah, yeah, every yeah, picture yeah. I take, I don't look good in it, so... And I give up fast with becoming an Amazon reviewer. I reviewed that I ate some caramel corn. One sec. Caramel corn. Here's one thing. I go... I post on Amazon, I go... I looked through my purchases and I made a review on the caramel. I, I got some caramel and I said it was good caramel. I said I got a bag of, of apples and I was wanted and I but I ate the jar of caramel within like three apples. The whole jar is gone. 
And I still got a lot of apples in that bag left, and I don't want to eat apples without caramel on it. Right now I'm eating jars of caramel, and I really, <laughs> so I thought, you know, I'll tell Amazon, I told Amazon that it was good caramel. Yeah. This is, um, my life. I said it was so good I ate the whole jar. I didn't get to eat it with lots of other apples. But you see, there was a problem with the jar. It was in a glass jar. And I'm not going to scoop. You think I'm an elegant person? <laughs> that's going to like scoop out a scoop of caramel onto my apples. No. I did that the first time, but then I just started dipping it in in the I might as get our aesthetic here. I like that this matches is very pleasing to me. It's like So I but I so I was dipping the apples in the jar, the glass jar, and the glass see the Bigfoot walk in the forest, you like that? Oh that was cute. That's cute. So I had I was putting the apples in the glass jar, but it's a little tiny in the opening, so um the apples were getting stuck in the jar. And that was that I was gonna write a review on saying I was gonna include in the review that the apples get stuck in the jar. But it's delicious, you know, but then I figured what if I made that caramel and somebody was that petty I might uh, you know, it's pretty silly. But it's, you know, who knows? Maybe maybe they're due for a redesign of their glass bottle. And maybe that would have helped. So, you know, maybe that's fine. If you're gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna review the caramel jars, if you're gonna, if you're review the caramel, I guess I should have just said you should make the opening a little bigger on the caramel jar. Because I decided I'm too lazy for that and I need to get a squeeze bottle caramel for the rest of my apples even though the product was really good because I can't be getting spoons all the time and scooping the thing we'll see it might not be as good though so So yeah, I got this dress, this sweater, and I like, I was really happy about it, but I don't know if it looks good. But it sparked joy, you know. Since I saw it, and I said, this is me, it's like a, it's like, classy and sexy but it's like kind of a school teacher at the same time which is kind of my aesthetic when I want to be you know like I'm trying to be fun but be classy at the same time be a little silly and classy so I got the sweater so I don't look I didn't get good pit. <laughs> see, it sounds like, you know, see how I'm drawing this out? It almost sounds like it's comedy, but this is really, this is my day. This is the extent of my thoughts. <laughs> well, I watched like four hours of Hoonie Pop. we do today?
I don't know. Hold on. I gotta pause the video to think about the day. Anyway, it was clearly it was not eventful. I go out of the room here, and I can't leave this room because it's boiling hot out there. It's stuffy. Great visitors watching some dude show. So there's lots of gay kissing and wieners in it, and and ladies and ladies of the night, and it's, that sounds very interesting. And then not now. I was too busy watching Holy Pop. I can't go out there. It's very hot out there. It's so hot and stuffy. I feel like I'm retired and I live in Florida or something. That's how I imagine it to feel like when you get old, and like everything around you is just hot and like stuffy. And so I'm staying in this room. There's no screen on the window. It's so... It's almost like you're gonna fall out the window every time you walk near the window. Yeah. Vincent walked near the window last night and goes, Oh my gosh, I almost fell out the window. He didn't fall out the window at all. It just... It's shocking to see an open window with no screen on two stories. So that was funny. <laughs> Maybe we should just do this more. Um, because when you explain mundane things, it kind of sounds funny. I used to do that, you know, one of my... <sighs> I, uh... <laughs> When I was a, in my a teenager, we had a computer set up, like an old big computer set up in the living room, and I loved um, writing about our day, like, like how I'd say, like, I would just write about our sim the simple things of our day on that cl clicky keyboard, oh, and, yeah, and I loved it. I just felt. It doesn't matter, even though I'm just typing about nothing, on that, the clicky keyboard, it was, it felt official. It felt so good. It's such a good feeling. I need a clicky keyboard. I write about Ami and Kelly. I go, we went, today we went, uh, today we went to Coco's and we got some broccoli soup. I, Kelly needs her broccoli soup. She's a... I don't know if you know Coco's restaurant, they, the best thing there is the broccoli soup. You'll never, it's very special. And Kelly, she would crave it every day after school to get that broccoli soup. And this was the big event of our day. And I would write it out like, oh, and the man said, we don't got no broccoli soup today. And you're going to have to wait. Toy. 20 minutes, and so we waited for that soup. <laughs> but it was fun to write, it was funny and stupid to read. Oh my gosh, see, this is what I, see, I felt really terrible. Look at the Lord guiding me to, and now I feel better. This definitely is my calling. Don't you think? Don't you think this is so interesting? Creating visual interest, like I was by opening this light here, like I'm in the woods. Anyway, it was like the Katina diary, and my mom and Kelly would laugh at it, and we'd sit around and write it out. Oh, such simple, cute talk. We, Kelly would sit next to me and she'd be laughing as I wrote it out. Like we'd come up with little things about the day. Oh. It's never... I don't know, I feel the anxiety of... Oh, I want... I really wish I could teleport. I think 
because this is fine, this is good right now, but I wish like, I really wish I could teleport back and forth, just to spend little times, you know? And then I could just come, go bloop, and come back and be a cutie with, and then on the spot, wouldn't be a big production. And then maybe I could just go and hug my mom in the kitchen. And go somewhere. And then I could go boom, and I could just go to sleep here. And I could go boom, go back to where there. That would be great. Cutie looks very cute in her collar. I put it on her. Because she didn't have a costume. And she... I just want the angel and this little white collar looks so cute. She, it enhances her beauty. I think she likes it. I'd like to get her a nice costume. Get her a nice kitty costume. Be kid. I have to pose for screen <sighs> No, I take these videos and pictures and then I see someone else take a video of me. I'm like, I'm, that's what I look like? I feel like I don't even look like the same person. Who am I really? What do people see? I get all these things that are like... People look at the things that you're they're like, it doesn't even look like you. That would be really embarrassing. One time I went to a convention though. You want to know what's weird? So you'll be thinking about something and you'll hear exactly something that you were wondering about a lot of times. So I was thinking, I'd go, what if I, at the time, I, I didn't really care. I care about, I need to, I don't really worry about the same things as much anymore, but whenever somebody going, oh, yeah, you look, you look even better in person at, at Comic Con, and I thought, oh, thank God, even if there's one person that said that, I'm happy. I don't think that's true in most cases, though, he was just a nice man. But that was a relief. It's like Kelly saying she was worried about something, and then that very night, a guy walked in the door and literally told her what she was worrying about. She shouldn't be worried about. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? minutes or I always think I'm not gonna say but then I didn't get going uh, 
Incinerate um, what's today? Mushrooms and onions. I think it's nice. I like him being here. I like that they're hanging out too with each other. It's cute. They're kind of their own force, though. That's good. I like that they're having fun together. Mm. I feel like I can't go out there, though. Alright, that's enough. I can talk while I do the pumpkin. Okay. Alright. Gee whiz. thinking you know I don't know what to live for such a selfish thing to say oh come on what? did I even think about that yeah, you know, most people live for other people I'm so selfish I'm always thinking about I always think I don't mean to be I really don't mean to be I'm like I'm I it was the spirit to live to go on need it. That just shows how selfish I am. Because I should just be more devote my spirit and my life to doing something for somebody else. I keep thinking I if I do something I want to do and it's a success and I can help everybody and everybody will be happy. But it's not I don't really want for anything. I don't need anything really. But I don't know, I think it could be more helpful to other people. Just, mm. <sighs> Every time I come on here, I'm just having a crisis about a thing. I gotta just come on here and just carve my pumpkin. Everything is just a therapy session. I'm a broken record. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel queasy today. And that colitis is a very annoying thing. You know, I've lived with this a lot of years and I didn't even know what it was though. It's never gone weird ever since the hospital though. I never it's just an annoying feeling. Like oh, I don't feel good. Like, I don't want I feel like I should go to the bathroom. And just is like a yucky feeling. It's terrible. It's just an annoying, gross feeling. Oh, I haven't really been taking my medicine good though. You need too much information? I just thought I'd throw it in. Aren't you interested in all the details of my life? Yeah, you are. I know you are. You gotta be, or else why would you be watching this? I think I'm... I want to get an ab roller. Oh, like tomorrow, I have a consultation to get rid of my double chin. I saw a thing they, that they they put a laser. It, I was This is another thing. I was just thinking, that, oh gosh, I hate that about myself. I wish I could change that so much. Like, that's the number one thing that bothers me about gaining weight. Like I said, it was my worst nightmare to be this big, but actually being this big is not so bad to me, actually. But the one thing that bothers me, I don't like... I don't like this. That... I, you know, I saw him, and I was thinking that, and that morning as I was thinking it, a lay, a thing came on. A girl came on, she got a lay... she got a... She got a lay... Uh... It's lasered her chin fat. And it's supposed to kill the fat cells in your neck. I thought, oh my gosh, and I, I just called them right on the spot. Even though I don't have any money. I'm just like, well, let's look into it. Maybe we could find a way. They're going to call me tomorrow and do a consultation. Do you think it even works? What if they kill all the fat cells and then my, my skin is loose? I don't want that. 
But that would be wonderful. You see all the things that bother you every day? Like, this is no pro- it's not like there's anything wrong with it, but like, it bothers me for some reason. There's so many little things bother me every day that the self-conscious are going through my life, and I don't even really look into fixing them. I, I just don't. I'm so used to them, and they bother me all the time, and I just go another day, the days roll into the next, and I don't truly try to fix them. Isn't that annoying? Then I will real I'll come to these realizations in the middle of the night as I'm half asleep. And I'll like where you know you go to sleep and you wake the next day and you've sort of refreshed yourself and you could chug a lug through the day doing this things even if you don't really even if you feel like it's not quite right. But then at the end of the night you go, what am I doing? What am I doing? And then you think about those things that you aren't paying attention to. And that's not the chin thing. It could be anything. Maybe you feel the same way. Do you think those are just thoughts of the night? Or is those the things you should really pay attention to? Those are probably the things you really pay attention to. Isn't that funny how everybody tells you not to pay attention to those things, though? The things that come out. I don't have no drinks or no high in me. But, isn't it funny? And whenever you start paying attention to those things, or you start saying those things, then everyone's like, oh, there's a drunk or high talk. Or tired talk. Don't pay attention to that. Those are, that's the real talk. That's the, that's what the truth is, that it's not, you can't let out any other time. Maybe that's why it's good to get drunk and high sometimes. It lets out the truth, it lets out the feeling. But then people say, don't pay attention to the things you say at 3 a.m. or when you are. But that's the truth! <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not even there right now, and I still feel it. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. I always say these things. Maybe you could help somebody else. I don't seem to do anything about it. I'm not sure what to do about it exactly. I don't know, you know, I, maybe just, I'm on my way. I'm getting my chin, I'm getting my double chin looked into tomorrow. That would be fantastic. <laughs> I think that doesn't matter, Kimberly. Well, it matters to me. This, not, not really, but a little bit. Kind of a lot. And if I can't do other things, then I might as well do that, right? I imagine how <laughs> I look from the outside here. Can you imagine somebody looking, like, from the, the side of the room, just looking at me, look, going like this? Or I remember Kelly last night, she comes with Brian to the Halloween party, and I'm dancing. And I'm dancing with myself. Just imagine, okay, you're Kelly, I'm going, I look like a crazy person. But this is what it is. And when I go out places and I'm in public, I feel like most of the time people don't even see me. It's like they don't, I, they don't even register me as a real person. And I get, I guess that's why I look at you a bit. Because uh, when I'm just looking around, I don't, I mean, nobody even looks at me. You know, maybe I don't want that anyway. I'm starting to be, I could feel my mom seeping it. I, the things, things that she would say, and I, and I go, what are you doing? <laughs> oh no, maybe that's fine. Maybe it's fine. 
Isn't that weird though? It's like you you always see things from one perspective and you go, oh my gosh, I, I don't want, I don't even understand how that person thinks that way. That makes no sense to me. And then it scares you. But then if you feel it, it's not scary anymore. So I guess it's fine. Don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid of nothing. Fear is a lie, I guess. The things you fear, the things you feel every day, you're already f dealing with it. Or usually, you fear the pain you're already used to. Anyway, she go. <laughs> like I told you, my mom is so in so into everybody. And then, and uh, but then if I will talk to her, then <laughs> about it. She'll be like, well, I don't care anyway. I don't I don't want to I don't want to deal with anything. Like, I don't want you know, Mommy, you clearly that's not true. I see you. You do care a lot. You know what it is. I understand now. I think this is what I think it is. You know, but you do care, but then you just at the end of the day you just get tired. And it's like, whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. That every that's what everybody probably did. A lot of well, maybe not. Maybe that I don't even know what I'm saying. This has already been a half an hour again. I, if I'm gonna talk like this, I gotta just stream it because I can't upload these things. They take too long. You can't talk like that. You can't talk like this in the stream. And really? Well, maybe you can. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's, <laughs> Everything's good. My room is such a mess. Just a big pile of clothes. You know what? I don't mind it at all. You know, I've been clean every day for like eight years, trying to organize the same pile of crap, and I'm like, and I get messed up again. So they're full clothes all day. I'm like, 